All right, guys, what's up? Beta 15 OEM bikes have just been released. I am extremely excited. I've only been running the stock bikes, as you can see, since uh, Beta 15 came out because the physics are that much better. But all the OEM bikes just got updated, so I downloaded them, have not checked them out. This is going to be a first impressions. So let us get into it. Now I am going, we'll go, go MX2. All right, let's get a good 250 in here. We do have the 21 KTM. That is the newest bike. Uh, give it a, give it a go. That looks really good. Some of the graphics look a smidge off. That's all right though. Let's go to Yamaha. Oh man, I'm probably gonna end up riding the Yamaha, honestly. Um. But I'll still go through all these. The TM looks really good. Definitely a lot different style than the other bikes, but... Ooh. Suzuki looks pretty clean. Not gonna lie. I rode the Suzuki for a while on the last one. Kawasaki looks good as well. Man, I am very excited for this. The Husky looks good. Man, I am torn actually. I don't know if I'm gonna ride the Yamaha, I kinda. Oof, that CRF the oh man. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with the Honda. Yeah, we'll go with the Honda for sure. But we can definitely browse through some of the other ones. We'll go MX1. All right, got the Alta. KTM 450, 350, all 21. Ooh, they got the 21. 450 for the Honda. Let's check. Oh man, that's clean. That's very clean. Look at the Yamaha. Yamaha also looks good. TM. Alright, let's look at. Suzuki. I have a feeling they're, I mean, they're going to look very similar to the 250 variants. Let's look at the 350 compared to the 450. Okay, yeah, pretty much exactly the same. They do also have MX3, which are big bikes. I think there's a, f yeah, five, is that the 500? Yep. Definitely at some point be checking that out. Um, they also got the two strokes for MX1 and MX2 as well. The 96, 97, you yeah, know, all the, ooh, 21, 150. Check this out real quick. Yeah, those all look really good. Take a quick peruse at the uh, 125s. Uh, those all look very good. Let's look at this Suzuki. Yeah. 
tons of bikes. I think it was like 31 bikes that you get to check out. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with that uh that Honda. Oh yeah. All right. Now this Spring Creek 2020 by AGMX, very good. Um, I'd say I probably struggle with this track the most. It's hard to get consistent, but I'm very excited to try it on these new bikes, especially with the new physics as well, because it makes it a lot easier. Um, but the uh, the stock bikes, it's just too hard to get speed going to clear some of the jumps but uh we'll see how this goes normally i run a 450 on this track just because it's easier to clear everything but we'll see how it goes on the 250. i haven't installed any mod packs or uh, sound packs or uh paints yet for the bikes um I'll do that in a future video. I'm just too excited to try these out, honestly. See what kind of laps we can throw down. They feel a lot stiffer than the stock bikes. Kind of botched that corner. Ooh. No bounce, though. That's good. Usually landing flat, you get like the head shake with the bars, or you bounce. So that's good. See if I can take this inside. I get some frame drops on this map. Just goes to show how pretty it is, the you know, the 1080 Ti's, and it's uh, definitely stressing it out. Runs fine. Oof. It runs fine with uh, the stock bikes and no fancy paints or anything, but. You know, you gotta look dope to be dope. Alright, that's quite a hook. That's also quite a hook. Alright, just as I remember. Oh yeah, this is a good... Oh man, that's so nice and controlled down there. Let's see how this goes. Man, it's really hard to get speed to clear some of these things on a 250 I mean I could just suck at the game but you know honestly that's probably what it is um, so far these bikes feel awesome if I do like two laps on this switch over to a 450 do a couple laps try to get some heaters but as I said I'm terrible at this game but I'm going to be playing a lot more now that these bikes are out. That is for sure. Alright, let's see if I can triple this. No, not quite. At least I don't hop around all crazy when I case. Yeah, let's take this inside. Ooh. Man. Are hucks. I also have not messed with any tuning, no gear ratios, suspension, or whatever, so I could probably get a little more out of these bikes, but as far as suspension goes, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, so I just leave that be for a while until I actually know what I'm doing. Alright, get a good run into these rollers. Just try to double them, double out. Ooh, almost caught that rut. And I just botched that corner. That's okay though. Try to get past the frame dips. All right. See if I can. Okay, I was a little better. I, I feel like I needed to be like somehow third for that and that as well, but it just bogs down. I probably need to use the clutch more. Um, all right. Oh, jumped into that corner. That was sketch. Just 
Double that. Yeah, usually when I would come up short before beta 15, I would just case that, bounce around for a little bit, try to save it, and end up going down. So, what are you going to do? This is a much, much, much better, though, as I uh, completely wad myself. this inside the the thing is these bikes feel super planted like this is such a big improvement for the feeling of the game and I've, I haven't I'm not one of the, like the OG um, players of the game I mean I think I started playing I've been following it since it got announced I don't think I picked it up though until uh, probably like beta 3. I didn't actually buy it, I just downloaded the demo. Um, didn't actually end up buying it until maybe beta like 5 to 7, somewhere around there. Um, and just have really been enjoying this game. I am curious to try out some of the online racing. Oh, that, that's two laps, sort of. Let's go ahead and switch to a 450. But I do want to try some online racing. I just feel like I need to get better at the game. I don't want to be riding like a goon. All right, let's see. Let's go to go to a 450. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Well, all the bikes do handle differently. We'll go with the Yamaha. That 21 looks clean though for the, the Honda, but let's hop on the YZ and give her a go. I was a little nervous when following the updates on Discord because I know they're tweaking with the like camera position, camera angles and whatnot, and I really like the camera angle that I've kind of settled on. Uh, may not be everybody's cup of tea, but for me it works really well. And if the camera angle for me is just a little off, I just don't know what I'm doing. It's it's got it's bad honestly. Um, all right. Oh man, this feels so good. Oof, off track a little bit, but it's all right. Get back on. Okay, try not to blow that. Almost did. Uh, so much power. Okay. We should definitely be able to clear everything with this. Oh yeah, no problem. Throw a little whip scrub. Oh man. All right, it's probably gonna take a minute. All right. Okay. It's hopping around. I'm definitely not the greatest at this game, but I'm trying. Almost over that, and probably get it next lap. Okay. That hill can be tough, especially in the last update. Okay. I haven't tried the, uh,. Kraken, Resolute Kraken's uh, Enduro map. I have names blank, I'm blanking the name at the moment, but uh, I tried it on the old update and it was really fun. But there's like kind of like speed wobbles while going up the hills and whatnot, and it was, it was pretty rough. Maybe I'll do a video on that if anybody would like to see it. Because um, I am kind of excited to try it out again now that all these uh, physics changes have been made. 
Um, but also, I want to men I mentioned it already, but go check out the Discord, the MX Bikes Discord. Um, follow all the progress there. I know I saw that uh, TFC is make or has his own website now, and he's going to release the entire 2020 season that was announced, not the one that ended up happening, um, which is pretty neat. I'm excited to try out all those maps. And um, just cool things like that. Uh, that's how I kept up on the progress of Beta 15. Um, also, I know like Astriel and I think Geo, I believe is the other one that helped a lot on this. Uh, both have uh, PayPal links if you want to help support them. I'm definitely going to, I don't have much money, but I'll throw them a few bucks there, here and there. Uh, just to show that I care, appreciate the work. Um, and if you do enjoy this game, appreciate the OEM bikes. From, I mean, everybody uses them. Just, you know, even throw them a dollar. Like, if you don't have any money, just at least give them a dollar or something. You just, in any way you can, try to show support. Uh, I know he works hard on this. Okay. I know that's happening. Definitely need to test out these bikes more, get better with them, used to the feel. And also just start playing this game a little more. I kind of took a few days off just waiting for these bikes to come out. And now that they're here, I'm going to be putting in some hours. Alright, I'm going to try to throw fatty scrub over here. I like that inside to inside. Alright, let's scrub that. Oh, I kind of... Ah, I botched it. Man, I'm so terrible at this game. But, regardless, I hope you enjoy watching it. Hopefully I'm not too much of a goon. And I will definitely get better at talking and playing. And, uh... <laughs> a little whiskey throttle over the finish line and I feel like that's the perfect way to end thank you for watching subscribe if you want to see more content I'm going to try to put out stuff uh, every so often but uh, have a good rest of your day